Russia continues to bring death and devastation to Ukraine. It is deliberately targeting civilians and civilian infrastructure. It is seeking to paralyze the country at the beginning of the winter. But we stand by Ukraine and we will make Russia pay for its cruelty. The eight packages of sanctions that we have issued so far are already biting hard. But today we are stepping up the pressure on Russia with a ninth package of sanctions. First, we are proposing to add almost 200 additional individuals and entities to our sanctions list. This includes the Russian Armed Forces, as well as individual officers and defense industrial companies, but also members of the State Duma, of the Federation Council, ministers, governors and political parties among them. This list covers key figures in Russia's brutal and deliberate missile strikes against civilians and in the kidnapping of Ukrainian children to Russia and in the theft of Ukrainian agricultural products. High Representative Borrell will tell you more about this. Second, we propose to introduce sanctions against three additional Russian banks. This includes a full transaction ban on the Russian Regional De Development Bank to further dry out Putin's watchest. And third, we also want to impose new export controls and restrictions, particularly for dual-use goods. This includes, for example, key chemicals or nerve agents, electronics, IT components, all what could be used by the Russian war machine. My fourth point, we will cut Russia's access to all sorts of drones and UAVs. We propose to ban the direct exports of drone engines to Russia and the export to any third country, such as Iran, which could supply drones to Russia. We will also target the Russian propaganda machine by taking four additional channels off the air and all other distribution platforms. And we propose further economic measures against the Russian energy and mining sector, including a ban on new mining investments in Russia. This package comes on top of the full EU import ban on Russian seaborne oil that came into force this week, and on top on the global oil price cap agreed between the G7 countries. The international cooperation against Russia's war has never been stronger. We stand firm and we stand united.